Hey Chris, can you make a video of the camera filming or get tips? nothing that people love more than card trick tutorials they're probably never gonna do in real life so today I thought not only would I change the the venue here in terms of looks of, of this fantastic channel uh, going with this white em embossed gloss table here uh, white power but I decided to also do the, the tutorial for a trick that I put up a couple of days ago that's uh, the Instagram bullshit. Now this isn't a trick you're gonna be able to do unless you have a controlled situation like this where you have multiple camera angles or you have your buddy filming you from above. But this is some basic, uh, pretty much Buck Twins bullshit here. So this is, uh, this is what we're gonna get into. So the first thing that you need to do is, uh, is take the box, the cards out of the box in a, in a fancy, unnecessary way. So the way I do that is like that. So what that does is pretty much nothing, but it looks fancy. So therefore it gets those hot, hot Instagram likes that we know we all want from that one girl that always posts pictures of her asshole. So for this, what you do is you're gonna hold the cards. You're gonna hold the cards here in your, uh, in your left hand. You're gonna open up the cards and take them from the box. Now you're gonna do a, a one-handed fan with these uh, cards in the right hand. Now, the one-handed fan, some hot tips on this here, is you wanna grab the deck in, a, in what's called a straddle grip position here. So with the pinkies on the outside, the forefinger on the outside, the ring finger and the middle finger here, ready to be, ready to, to, to have intercourse. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna just hold those cards there by themselves. Now the thumb, uh, you, your first instinct is to wanna just spread the cards in a way that's not gonna drop them, but you, you just need to practice this and you're gonna put this sort of pressure here. So this finger, all it's doing is putting pressure and doing this. Hey buddy, that, that's all that's happening. So with the cards in your hand, you see what happens, you spread the cards. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's a hot tip there. That's some hot stuff. Now, of course, that's not gonna be all you're doing because you need to keep the attention of these Instagram fucks. So what's gonna happen is that you're gonna use your grandmother's favorite finger here to grab the deck here at the same time, you're turning your right hand over. So what that does is that it puts the deck in your left hand as you squirt up and it keeps the deck here in your pinky ready to be spun in your other fingers. Now this deck is gonna be dropped towards the left of the, uh, the situation you got here for a reason that'll become very apparent in a little bit. But let me drop some, uh, some hot Japanese uh, censored censored uh, private parts slow motion here for you guys for that. So here, here it goes. <laughs> private parts censored somebody leave it in the comments as to why their their private parts are censored in Asian pornographic films so that's the first move right there the second move is gonna be a move that we've discussed in another video here which I'll be sure to link up here if I happen to care so what's gonna happen now is you're gonna you're gonna use uh, your mother's favorite finger here that we're, we're going we're jumping from thicknesses here if you haven't realize that. So you're going to lift up about a third of the deck here, even less than a third of the deck. Why? Because this is the cards that you're going to vanish and you want the least amount of cards as possible, but you still want enough to be impressive for those hot Instagram likes. So you're going to swing cut this over. You're going to just step it over and use your finger to hold that in place. You, you see this? Man, if, if that doesn't, if you're not smashing multiple buttons right now because of uh, some yeah, so smash those smashing it. So you're gonna hold this in place now It's gonna happen is your right hand is gonna jerk in this sort of direction now when you jerk in that sort of direction your 
your, your finger is gonna let go of the card. So if you have your hand here in this very David Copperfield, I just suck a dick position, you're gonna be able to grab those cards as they flip over. Now the reason you're holding them in this position momentarily is so that they're gonna flip over together. So this is just a, a thing that you're gonna have to practice and get eventually. Now it's gonna happen initially is that all these cards are gonna fly out everywhere and you're gonna look like a moron, but you're gonna need to get over that step and get to this step where you're gonna look like a magic superstar on Instagram. So that's the, uh, that's, that's the second move right there. So I'm gonna drop some hot slow motion here for, for y'all right here. Some hot, hot uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese, Rice field slow motion here. Yeah, damn. All right, so after you do this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get back into a fan with your right hand here. So your hands are crossed again in this David Copperfield. I just left the position. So you're gonna your hands are gonna cross, and as your hands are gonna uncross, you're going to do two things at the same time. Yeah, boy, see, uh, didn't catch that, did you? You're gonna sneak this packet underneath, and much like this classic uh, fan vanish here, you're gonna do this only as your hands uncross. So this, for those of you that have been living under a, a um, an obese, uh, entitled woman your entire life, what's gonna happen is that your fingers here, your forefinger especially, is gonna grab that packet from the left hand here as the left hand turns over. So all the left hand is doing is turning over and all this packet is doing is, uh, is being grabbed by the, the, the forefinger there. You see the ingenuity here? So when you combine both these actions, what's gonna happen is that your hands are uncrossing and you have this uh, lovely situation here where it looks like the packet vanished and yet you still have it over here. So because of that uncrossing hotness, it's it's a very justified action here. So your hands have to uncross anyway. So usually the fan vanish is done like this, which is kind of stupid, uh, but because the hands are uncrossing here, you kind of have to pass one hand over the other, which get, uh, smash it, smash, sm smash the, for the thing. And now what's gonna happen is that you have this packet over here, so you're gonna reach over to the table for the cards, but you're gonna reach for them in this sort of position. You're gonna hold them like this, as if you are a, uh, a delicate princess. So you're gonna be holding these like this, ready for these fingers to grab the packet and switch it. So we're gonna go over what's gonna happen underneath the fan here. But uh, pretty much to, to recap here, what's happened, you got a third of the deck. This is flipped over. The fan is made with your right hand. As the hands uncross, this packet disappears because it's under here. Now you're picking up this packet. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna do a bunch of things simultaneously here. So this, these two fingers are gonna grab this packet over here and have hold of them. You, you see this? Next, the ring finger and the pinky are gripping the box and taking it underneath the fan. So you're left in this sort of position here. You see why this is only some uh, Instagram, Facebook, good shit here? You, you see why? Because you can't fucking do this. If you do this, you're only gonna have to do this for people that are either uh, challenged uh, physically, where they can't literally look underneath your hand or possibly mentally, um, mentally retarded. So now you're left in this position here. So you're left in a position where after you vanish these cards, Supposedly, these cards have turned into the box. And you could turn these cards over and say, hey, look, oh man, the cards are in the box now. Now, because of the, uh, these cards, the, the box is here, you're gonna wave this fan one last time over this packet and deposit that box on top of the fan. So now, now you have all these cards hiding underneath the box there, ready to be, um, ready to be produced here. So you're gonna drop these cards now you're gonna be very careful about your above angles here because you don't want the sides to flash. As you turn this over, open up the card box and pretend to spill those cards over. See what I'm doing here? This is all I'm doing. There's no, there's no action on this. You're just pretending to take those cards out of the box, give them one last fan 
and then you're, you're ready to get all those sweet, sweet likes on all those uh, social media platforms that makes everyone want to uh, starve themselves to death. So that's a, uh, that's, that's a hot trick. You practice it. There's a lot of hot techniques in it. Uh, if, if not for the fan vanish, then for the, uh, the, the move where they turn into the, the cards and then the other move where they turn into the box and then the other move where you take the cards out of the box. There, there's a lot of hot stuff to practice there. So I hope that that's hot enough for you to be able to um, molest all the buttons that you need to uh, do and uh, for you to have a great day apart from the overwhelming loom of segregation and ap apartheid, apartheid in your uh, society. I'm gonna go figure out different ways not to use a noose to hang myself. When I see you again, 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 when I see you again.